So I feel like you kind of reached a dead end or maybe uh, what I just heard is also you could have reached a plateau. What's happening here is you're questioning whether or not there really is love in this situation or if it's just an attachment or just some sense of codependency is also what I wanna say. Love came out crossing wedding rings. Is this really love or is this something else? Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. My name is Eric. If you're new to the channel, it is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So, I felt inspired to do a collective love reading. Uh, so keep in mind that this is a general reading. Yes, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, keep in mind that we could be, you know, roles could be reversed. Um, so, Maybe this is for you, or maybe this is a message coming from someone that you're connected to. Um, also, keep in mind that this is a timeless reading, yeah? So whenever you watch this, it could resonate for you at any moment in time, yes? So maybe if it doesn't necessarily resonate now, maybe put a pin in it, um, <clears throat> because I do kind of feel like you've been guided here for a reason to hear this message, yes? I don't know why my necklace keeps turning backwards, but it's fine. Uh, okay, so we're going to get into a love, a collective love reading. Yeah, just whatever needs to come through at this moment. We're going to be using the love oracle cards to start, and then I'm going to get um, some tarot and pull from that to get us some more messages. Yes? Okay, sorry, I need some moisturized. All right, <laughs> All right, kids, here we go. So let's get into this here and see what we have for the collective. Yeah, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representations and the messages we need to hear at this moment in terms of love. Thank you so very much, Spirit. Alrighty, kids, let's get into this here. I'm gonna give this five shuffles. Let's see what we've got for today, yeah? One. Well, not necessarily for today or for this moment. Here we go, yeah. Two. Three. Four. Alrighty, kids, so what messages do we have for the moment? All right, we're dealing with separation right now. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, and unsure of the future. The unsure of the future part is what's standing out for me the most. And what I'm hearing is, or what I'm feeling is, uh, this separation is very, very necessary. Some of you actually are in separation from a, a partner right now. This could be twin flame, possibly. If that resonates for you, then take it as it resonates. But I am feeling specifically that there are some people or individuals that are in I kind of want to say loving relationships, but yet the separation that you're dealing with right now is absolutely necessary. So this literally feels like um, a relationship that in which you guys are on a break right now, okay? Whether it's twin flame or not, it doesn't matter. You don't have to resonate or you don't have to really like follow with the twin flame situation for this to be re relevant to you, okay? Um, the next card that's come out here is Claret, is the sword and the sword and the rose excuse me, the sword and rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, uh, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. But this time of separation right now for you guys, for whomever this is resonating for, it is absolutely necessary because it's bringing you a level of clarity and it's helping you move forward. Under At the bottom of the deck, you do have boat, which to me is kind of like a six of swords energy, receiving what you need, progression, 
arriving, moving on, and closure issues. But I feel like there is something that there is something that individuals are moving on from here. This, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on depending on what you're going through, but this could be a situation in which the separation is necessary for you guys to understand some deeper elements of the relationship that you have with each other and either move on from it completely like the 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 separation or the break turns into an official breakup or you're able to gain clarity on the situation or something that has arisen in your relationship so that you two can come back together and work on it and move on from it from here on yes either way this separation is necessary all right let's get a little bit more here what else can we say about this situation Okay. Okay. At the bottom of the deck now, you do have sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, uh, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. I feel like this is a situation in which uh, the separation is starting to help you guys realize or help someone realize here that the situation was not balanced, it's not reciprocal, someone is hiding something. And I definitely feel like you've gotten to the point where you're really questioning whether or not this, there, this, this, this is really love or if it's something else. Because underneath sunglasses you do have addiction, okay? And addiction talks about codependence, codependent, codependency. Obje uh, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint here, right? So what else has come out is wedding wings, <laughs> wedding wings, wedding rings, uh, but that has come out in reverse. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Okay, wedding rings is in reverse and then ascension is also in reverse. So I feel like you kind of reached a dead end or maybe uh, what I just heard is also you could have reached a plateau. This could feel like a plateau. But what's happening here is you're questioning whether or not there really is love in this situation or if it's just an attachment or just some sense of codependency is also what I want to say. You have love and love came out crossing wedding rings. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. But I just feel like you're really questioning here. Is this really love or is this something else? But that's the clarity that's coming through in this moment of separation. Yeah. Let's get into the tarot here. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three, four, and five. All right. So, what does the tarot have to say about this situation? bottom of the deck is the nine of pentacles. This separation that you're dealing with right now is really helping you put yourself into alignment of who you truly are and allowing you to get into a place of standing on your own. And I'm already feeling like some of you have gotten to the point within this separation period in which you are ready to say, maybe I should just walk away from this. But that's because you're standing in this place of independence and thinking for yourself, nine of pentacles. This kind of feels like an energy of like, well, shit, I mean, if this is the way it's going to be, I really don't need this. And I really could just walk away. Eight of Cups. Some of you literally are walking away. And when that Eight of Cups came out, that was the first card to come out. All I kept hearing and feeling was, in some cases, there's nothing left to do but to just walk away. Walking away from the situation altogether in some situations or in some cases, walking away altogether is going to bring justice. It is justified. Now, for others of you in which you're not walking away altogether, in which you're taking this time of separation to understand a deeper issue within your relationship only to come back together to work on it and be in a better place, ultimately, justice here is walking away from or leaving behind whatever this situation or circumstance is that created a rift in the relationship. 
But in order for that to happen, there's going to need to be a sense of maturity and independence. Nine of Pentacles. Being able to see the situation clearly and, and from, an, uh, from a mature and maybe even really an adult point of view, if you want to call it that, to accept responsibility for your role in the situation. If you two are really going to come back together, if this is going to make you guys stronger as a couple, both of you are going to need to stand on your own, think independently, and be able to take responsibility for your end of the situation. Because all relationships are a two-way street. No matter what somebody wants to tell you, the relationship needs to be a partnership. You need to work together, which means at some point, you're going to have to take responsibility for your own actions and own up for it. Own up to it. Yeah? Yeah? You have a few more cards here. You have the Page of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. So it feels like here somebody is really looking for a way to move forward and bring balance into their lives. Either that's going to be moving forward and walking away from the situation altogether, or it's moving forward and seeing through gaining the information and the wisdom that you need, Page of Swords, in this situation to move forward in an activated and positive and, and passionate and, and, and active, well, activated, yes, inspired way to bring balance into the situation, which will ultimately leave you guys with a new opportunity, a new opportunity to be 11-11, a new opportunity to be together from a different point of view or a new opportunity in terms of, I guess you could say, for lack of a better term, starting all over. But you're not really starting all over because you're starting from a place of independence, of understanding on a deeper level, maybe not completely understanding, but at least on a level to which you can move over, move on, move forward, and take whatever experience you had here and apply it to the next situation or apply it to your life as you move forward. I'm going to get one more shuffle from this deck, and then I'm going to close this out with some Oracle Guidance, yeah? So one last shuffle, please, Spirit. What else do you want to say here? Okay. Okay. Um, you have three more cards here. You have the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Six of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Six of Cups, and then you also have the Knight of Swords, which is in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Two of Swords. So, this is going to require work. And instead of fighting against it, instead of putting a bunch of energy into pushing back, Knight of Swords in reverse. Instead, what needs to happen is there needs to be a sense of quiet. There needs to be a sense of calm. You need to quiet your mind and you need to look at the situation from an internal point of view, from a sense of not focusing so much on the external representation of what's going on and instead look within because that's the work that's going to need to happen here. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Cups in terms of the past. And this could be the recent past. This doesn't have to be the distant past. It could, that what I'm feeling here for individuals that are in separation right now that are dealing with some issues in the relationship, it's just the recent past in terms of what has happened and what has gotten you here into this sense of separation at this time. There is work that needs to be done. Again, instead of fighting against it, instead of pushing back, accept responsibility, quiet your mind, Get your eagle to ego, eagle, ha, get your ego to settle down so that you can look at this from, we'll say, an eagle's point of view, from a higher perspective. Okay, I'm going to close this out with uh, some oracle guidance from the love uh, oracle, right? Lovers, lovers oracle, right, okay. All right, closing oracle guidance for this reading, please, Spirit. That's an 
enough right there. Okay, you have two cards. The first card is Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. This doesn't have to be a situation in which you, ha you have to completely walk away. In some cases, I am feeling like there is potential here for the two of you to work together. But you have to work together. Finally, you have imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. I'm going to leave it there. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. Please don't hesitate to share your thoughts and your feelings in the comments section. Yes. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>